important thing you should know is for execution of a process that process has to be in main memory that is for sure if one process is there suppose this is our process p1 and if cpu wants to execute this process so this process this is now in secondary memory so for execution this process has to be loaded into your main memory that is the simple rule otherwise this process cannot be executed and second thing is as we know the size of main memory see main memory is also known as physical memory so size of main memory is what finite and maybe sometimes it happens the size of this process is larger than this main memory size then we cannot load this complete process into main memory okay or maybe sometimes it possible see rather than rather than loading the complete process into main memory is it possible that we can we can load only some part of the process see because when cpu is working cpu is cpu is executing this process it is not like that cpu is executing the complete process maybe cpu is executing only this part of the process maybe cpu is executing only this part of the process so it is better to it is better to load only this part or this part to main memory rather than loading the entire process into the main memory if you can implement this funda for memory management then what what is the benefit of this thing because as the size of this memory is finite so if you implement this funda only the required portion of the that process is to be loaded into the main memory then what will happen many many processes can reside in the main memory at same time because if you load the complete process then it will take larger space in the main memory and maybe uh, at at one time maybe two processes can be there in main memory three processes can be there in main, main memory and if you apply this funda then maybe at same time 5 10 15 processes can reside in main memory okay now how this funda is to be implemented simple trick is if we divide this process into these portions equal sized portions and this this is known as pages so process is divided into equal sized pages this is suppose page 0 1 2 3 4 we are we are taking page number at some time cpu is executing this process and cpu needs only the page number 3 so only this page is to be loaded into main memory these pages will not be loaded into main memory so these pages will will be in secondary memory like that suppose this is our secondary memory or you can say hard disk okay somewhere in secondary memory all the pages of this process is there in secondary memory and when the cpu needs a particular page then that page is to be loaded into main memory this kind of funda is also known as demand paging and when you apply this funda then many processes can be there in main memory so it seems that that main size of main memory is very large but actually that's not true and that thing is known as what virtual memory because that is virtually it seems that the size of main memory is very large because many processes can be there in main memory why so because we are not loading the complete process into the main memory we are just loading the required pages into the main memory okay so that that thing is known as virtual memory actually virtual memory is see this this some portion of hard disk is known as virtual memory now see if at some point of time cpu needs this page number 2 of this process p1 now if this requested page is available in the main memory then normal execution will be there if some if suppose this page number 2 is not load not there in the main memory then that thing is known as page fold if the needed page is not available in the main memory then that thing is known as page fold now if page fault occurs then what will happen if operating system finds that that particular page is not in main memory then what operating system will do first of all operating system will contact with hard disk where the process reside in hard disk it will find okay 
and it will find that page of that process the needed page of that process and it will load that page into main memory now if the situation is something like that the main memory is full see the process is divided into equal sized pages and the main memory is divided into frames like this equal sized frames if the memory if this main memory is full all the frames are having some pages so if this main memory is full then you cannot put the requested page the page number 2 in this main memory then what operating system will do obviously some page has to be swapped out into secondary memory so that the new requested page can be swapped into main memory kisi page ko aapko yahan se utha ke main memory se secondary memory mein dalna padega that is known as swap out okay and when you put a page from secondary memory to main memory that is known as swap in now the question is which page is to be replaced the operating system will choose which page to swap out that thing is decided by page replacement algorithm so there are many algorithms to decide which th to decide this thing that which page is to if main memory is full all the frames are full then which page is to be replaced with this new page for deciding this thing we have many types of algorithm so in this video we will discuss first in first out algorithm now one more important thing is how operating system knows which page of which process is in main memory and which page of that process is in secondary memory obviously the operating system has to keep this information also that which page is in suppose the page of p this process p2 this two or three pages are in main memory and this 0 1 4 are in secondary memory okay so operating system keeps this information also and for keeping this information one page table is there so this page table is also reside in this main memory okay somewhere so maybe uh, here here this is page table many many information are stored in this page table i am just telling about valid and invalid bits if the page number 2 and page number 3 is in main memory then we set this bit to valid and if if particular page is not there in this memory then that that uh, bit is corresponding to that page is set to i invalid bit now suppose main memory is completely full and you have to swap out some page from here to here and operating system using some page replacement algorithm operating system chose this 3 page number 3 to swap out in secondary memory now the operating system will also update this page table it have it has to update this page table okay so the bit corresponding to this page number 3 is set to invalid now why invalid because this page is not available in main memory right now because this page has been swapped out to secondary memory so this is the processor when a page fault occurs then operating system will do operating system will first of all contact to the hardware to locate where that process is where the page is second thing is then operating system will choose the victim page which page is to be replaced or you can say which page is to be swapped out to secondary memory then that page would be swapped out to sec that secondary memory and the new requested page would be swapped into the main memory plus operating system will also update this page table the corresponding bit to that page which has been swapped out is set to invalid okay and the corresponding bit to the page which has been swapped in is set to valid so this is the processor so before going to that algorithm i just want to tell you one more thing one one example of that uh, page fault see when you open some movie in vlc player suppose this is your vlc player or this one is your screen so here you have some that bar and the cursor is now at this place at time 00 and movie is you have started the movie now suddenly if you forward this cursor here to here maybe suppose at 5 minute then i guess you have noticed that that vlc player will not play this movie instantly okay it it takes some time it takes maybe 1 second 2 second or 3 seconds why so because that is page fault you can say you can take something like this this complete is known as a process 
so this complete entire process will not be loaded into main memory when you start the movie okay all the pages of that process will not be loaded into main memory when when the operating system is using paging technique for memory management in that case only so maybe at starting the operating system will load only some pages like this maybe from here to here okay and you suddenly put the cursor to here so this page is not there in the main memory so that is why it takes some time to load this page maybe time for swap in and swap out that is why it takes vlc player takes some time to play the movie from here so see so for page replacement there are many algorithms now which algorithm is to be choosed there are many factors on which you will choose which page replacement algorithm is good one is this this also page fold should be less that algorithm should reduce page fold that is one criteria now we will discuss that first in first out algorithm now the question is something like this the reference string is given that is this one pages reference string for pages it means cpu cpu request pages in this order it will request first of all the page number 3 then page number 2 then 1 3 like this okay and you are given only 3 frames 3 frames has been allocated to this process okay f1 f2 and f3 now how you will apply the space replacement algorithm fifo page replacement algorithm see and we will also calculate the hit ratio and as well as the page number of page folds okay now see the first first requirement of cpu is what the page number 3 okay now check frame frame means this is our main memory now three frames are there allocated to this process allocated to this process having this these page numbers now you che you check whether you have this page into this main memory no this one is empty this one is empty this one is empty we don't have this page number okay so we'll swap in this page we'll load this page here in frame 1 and this is known as page fold because this page was not available in our main memory okay so this is known, you can say a miss or you can say page is not available page is not available in the main memory okay second page now second is page number 2 check we have only one page having number 3 we don't have two so now the operating system will load this page here we have three in second frame we will put two see no need to swap out any page why so because we still have two frames left two frames are still empty so we can put new page into frame 2 so this is also known as page fold because 2 was not available in our main memory so you can say page was not available or you can say it is a miss okay next is 1 see we have only page number 3 and 2 one is not available now 3 2 still we have one frame empty so we will put one here and this is also a miss or you can say page fold now now our main memory is full now what to do see next page requirement is 3 the operating system first of all check whether it this page is available in the main memory yes this is available see this one 3 so no there is no page fold so page is available so here 3 2 and 1 no need to swap out and swap in okay next is page number 4 is this page number available 3 2 1 no this is not available not available so this is a page fold you can say a miss now our memory is full now you have to swap out one page operating system has to swap out one page from main memory to secondary memory to put this needed pages into the frames because we have only three frames now which page is to be swapped out which page is to be selected as a victim page in first in first in first out algorithm so the page the oldest page obviously the name suggest first in first out so the oldest page will be selected as victim the page which has come first very first and for this thing for this thing operating system will maintain a queue okay because the the in queue queue operates on in which manner fifo manner so operating system will will maintain a queue like this and it will put the pages something like this and when when it has to select a page for uh, swap out then it will select the page from the from front of the queue 
okay because we we insert data from the rear now which page is to be selected out of 3 2 and 1 which page is the which page is the oldest page which has come first this three page this uh, this page having number 3 so the operating system will swap out this page so here we will put 4 2 and 1 will be same fine now see for 1 this page is al already available so this is a hit 4 2 and 1 page is available so it is a hit now next is 6 this page is not available now which page is to be swapped out out of these three pages which one is the oldest one see this 4 has come here this 2 has come at the, from here and 1 has come here so see the simple trick is I use to apply this trick basically I just see here only see 4 is here starting of 2 is here and starting of 1 is here so obviously this one is the oldest now so you will cho choose this page 2 4 6 and 1 and this is a mess because this this page was not available now 2 is this page available no so this is a mess now which page is to be replaced 4 has come here 6 has come here only 1 has come here only so see after after looking at this table after looking at this scenario 6 was here initial point of 4 is here initial point of 1 is here so obviously this one is the oldest one okay so we'll select 1 4 6 and 2 so this is the simple trick i used to apply so next is 4 this page is available 4 so this is a hit 4 6 2 no need to do any swap out swapping now next is 3 4 6 2 this page is not available now which page is to be selected see the initial point of 4 is here initial point of 6 is here initial point of 2 is here so obviously this 4 is the oldest one na? so we will choose this 4 so 4 will, will be replaced with 3 3 6 2 and here is a miss now next is 4 4 is not available now which page is to be choosed initial point of 3 is here only 6 initial point of 6 is here only initial point of this 2 is here only so 6 1 6 is the oldest one so we'll choose 6 3 and 2 here is also a mess because this page was not available next is 2 this page is available so hit it is a hit 3 4 and 2 next is 1 this is not available so this is a mess which page is to be selected 3 the initial point of 3 is here initial point of this one is here initial point of 2 is here so this is the oldest one so we will put 1 here 4 and 3 next is 4 4 is available this is a hit 3 4 and 1 next is 5 this is not available so this is a mess which page is to be selected see initial point of 3 is here initial point of 4 is here initial point of 1 is here so we will select 3 because this is the oldest one so here 5 4 and 1 okay next is 2 next 2 is not avail available so this is a mess which page is to be selected 5 initial point of 5 is here initial point of 4 is here and initial point of this one is here so this is the oldest one so we'll put 2 here 5 and 1 next is 1 1 is available so this is a hit 5 2 and 1 so next is 3 say this page is not available so this is a mess which is to be selected origin of this 5 is initial point is here initial point of 2 is here initial point of 1 is here so this one is the oldest one okay so we'll choose this one 2 and 5 4 4 is not available you will choose which one i guess 5 is here 2 is here and 3 is here so so sorry 5 is here 2 is here and 3 is here so we'll choose this one 4 2 and 3 so number of page folds how many page folds you just count this cross 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 and hit ratio hit ratio is what number of hits divided by total how many number of hits are there 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 6 divided by total is how many is 19 total is 19 so this is what the hit ratio you can also find out miss ratio that is 13 by 19 total number of miss total number of page fold divided by total so this is how the page replacement algorithm will work.
So in next video, I'll discuss with you both that L LRU technique and optimal page replacement technique also. And we will compare all the three techniques in that video. So till then, bye-bye, take care.